In this video we shall discuss how to set a breakpoint using the command bpmd in Windows debugger. So our aim is the application should break into the debugger after executing a managed method. In this video we will also theoretically see one more thing. We have learned that a method JITS that is a method converts from MSIL to native instructions in its first invocation. JIT compiler will not be called for the subsequent invocation. We will also prove this in this demo. Let me go to the demo. I have an example show JIT at code. I have two button events create tiger and tiger eats meat. I am creating a tiger object. So the tiger object is been there in the application's memory. So now let's go to the debugger. I am doing a live debugging so that I am attaching this process. Test application connected. Now first I have to load a DLL called SOS. This is because SOS DLL contain dot .NET debugging commands. Now our aim is we wanted to set a breakpoint on eating meat method. For that first I have to get the tiger object from the memory. Since we have created the tiger object let's search it. This command will print all the tiger object from the memory. I have only one tiger object. It has been printed. Now we wanted to print the metadata operation metadata of this tiger because operation metadata contain information about its methods. So I am copying this. In the previous discussion we have explained how to dump the metadata. So I am applying the command dump empty minus md and provide this metadata. So all the methods of this class has been printed. We can see the constructor tiger eating meat method right now our aim is to set a breakpoint on eating meat because whenever the meat eating meat is been called or uh, that particular event is been called the application should be break down into the debugger so i am copying the method description of eating meat because our breakpoint command requires this parameter I am applying bpmd minus md and I am providing this method description of eating meat. After applying this command we will set a breakpoint on this method. Right. Now we will verify whether the application breaks down when we call eating meat. For that let's go to the application. Now this is my second event tiger eats meat which will call the eating meat function. Let's see it breaks down to the debugger. I am applying. Yes. Now it breaks into the debugger. Right. And we can see breakpoint tiger eating meat. So user called tiger eating meat in the application. So application breaks down into a debugger in the beginning. Here one more interesting thing. We have called eating meat for the first time in our application. So whenever a method is been called first time it will be jitted. That's what we are seeing this. We are calling the first time so the CLR jits the eating meat. If we are calling this particular method for the second time it will not jit. I can show you that. Let's see to the application again. Now I am applying tiger eats meat for the second time. I am clicking. When I clicked second time again it broke into the our debugger. But there is a difference with this first one. In the first one it broke and jitted. Second time we have simply went to the applications uh, I mean uh, eating meats beginning. But 
there is no jitter so we are proving that second time or any subsequent this one the applic the particular method will not jit so we have learned two things here how to set a breakpoint and also theoretically prove that the methods will jit only once we request our users to go through all our debugging videos and subscribe to our videos we also have provided a mini dump uh, dumps so that user can do their hands on the dumps are available at our blog thank you